guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Brielle and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be doing a haul video and I absolutely love haul videos and this is like one of the best times of the years to do haul videos because there's Black Friday and there's also Cyber Monday which is when I actually bought a lot of the stuff that I've been buying this month um, besides the fact that I've been spending a little bit more money than I probably should be the sales have just been really getting to me but this Black Friday um, I normally don't splurge as much as I normally do and also on Cyber Monday but you know I kind of give myself a little leeway and I say go off Brielle get get some stuff from brands that you don't normally would purchase from because of the price point uh, because of maybe the brand itself so I'm also going to be not only just showing you the products that I bought but also I'm going to be telling you how much they typically retail for and how much that I actually got them for just so you can kind of get an idea of the savings that I did a lot of these brands I'm really familiar with and I love so I kind of stocked up on stuff that I knew that I wanted but I also tried some different brands that I'm not really familiar with as well as that I normally wouldn't purchase from just because of some certain things uh, if you know me I have a couple stigmas against some brands that I normally wouldn't purchase from but because the sales were really good this year I was like you know what why not? So the first brand I'm going to start off with is Luxie Beauty. I bought so many brushes this year. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life, but I am a brush hoarder. Like anytime a brush set is on sale, I'm like, let me buy that. Anytime that there's any discounts on brush singles, I'm like, let me buy all of them. Um, so this brand I'm really familiar with. I've bought stuff from them before. They always run really good sales. And this year they were doing I think 60 per on Cyber Monday they were doing 60% off and I don't know about you but 60% off is like a let me buy the whole store kind of uh, you know price down so I bought and mind you some of these brushes are dirty because I've been using them um, I bought one two three four five six seven eight nine I bought nine brushes um, most of them were singles except for this three-piece set that I got um, so this is one of their more like elite brush sets. Um, they're really, really nice. I actually love them because of, I normally am more of like a sturdy kind of brush person, but these brushes are like kind of more like flimsy and I really like that. Like I use this for setting underneath the eyes, um, for powdering around my face. This is more of a like tapered one if I really wanted to get tight underneath of my eye. This is really good for like buffing out concealer or any other type of cream products. I absolutely love this brush set. Um, and then some other brushes that I bought were some singles. So, of course, I got uh, some, some eye brushes. So, and these are the four eye brushes that I got. Uh, they're basically all crease brushes. Uh, that's typically my go-to when I buy brushes. Because um, a lot of the times when I do any type of lid color, I can normally do it with my finger if I really felt like it. Um, and then I bought two other face brushes. So, I love, love, love flat top foundation brushes. These are fan fantastic and I absolutely love this I wish that I bought more when I could have and then this is like a contour blush bronze or whatever type of brush that you want to use it for and like I said it was 60% off this at the store so um, typically they retail like all those brushes together would have been $125 but I actually got them for just $50 so I saved about $75 which is a huge amount I felt like you know kind of like a baller like I was stealing from Luxie Beauty I absolutely love these brushes I really recommend them i'm sure that they'll be doing other promos because they typically do them throughout the year like sometimes they'll do like 50 percent off like random eye or face brush sets um but i really was excited about the lee brush set because they they were their like more like um i guess expensive kind of brush line that they just came out with i don't know if they just came out with it this year or last year or something like that but i wasn't familiar with them so i picked them up just because why not another brand that i bought from was um believe it or not kylie cosmetics now oh my god i have told myself a million and one times that i would not buy anything from kylie because you literally are just paying for her name and if you're and trust me i love kylie don't get me wrong i i like her lips i like her outfits i like the wigs that she wears it's just not the point the point is that i always feel like um when you're paying for a celebrity type of brand you're kind of paying for just the name and not actually the quality of the products and from all the years of hearing such horrible things kind of mixed reviews about her stuff I, I've just stayed away from it it just makes me feel better my wallet feels better but she was running uh, 30 to 40 percent off on a lot of the stuff on her website and I was like you know what Brielle you're gonna try Kylie Cosmetics why not uh, buy from her while her stuff is on sale so her lip glosses were on sale for only nine dollars so I bought shades so cute and literally which is I think one of her first types of glosses like the first couple shades that she came out with when she first started her line my issue with these glosses now don't get me wrong the color of them is like really really pretty I am NOT a swatcher but 
you know what let me let me try to swatch right now I like the coloring of them there's something about the consistency it's not sticky and it's not like tacky but it's really thick but not that like nice Anastasia Beverly Hills like thick opaque kind of feeling I don't know really how to explain it so the top shade is literally and the bottom shade is so cute I mean I didn't really think this shade was going to be so brown but I really like so cute they're really kind of like like nude shades which I really like in glosses but the issue is is that literally is way more brown than I originally thought it was going to be and so cute is like kind of like right up my alley but again there's something about the consistency that doesn't really sit well with me um and then the other two products that I bought from Kylie was her concealers and I actually love these concealers I was really really surprised I am a concealer hoarder as well um I am so much quicker to buy concealers than I am to buy foundations because I don't love a lot of foundation um I normally make up for coverage in concealer so I bought shades maple and shell maple is a lot more of a like I have my fake bake on right now so this is more of like a shade for like if I was just going to conceal underneath my eyes um, not to brighten and then shell is more of like that highlight really dramatic like lighter shade that I would do if I really wanted that dramatic highlight which I actually have going on right now <laughs> so typically those products that I bought the two concealers and the two lip glosses from Kylie would have been $70 and I actually only paid 46 I got free shipping with that so I kind of thought that that was a really good deal again it's not a huge bargain I didn't like steal from Kylie but I kind of felt like better about it because like I said I normally wouldn't give her my money any other day of the year another brand is her sister's brand KKW and I actually was way more open to I actually bought stuff from KKW, KKW before I went and bought stuff from Kylie because I bought stuff from Kim and I was like mm, maybe I'll buy some stuff from Kylie I was a lot better at I guess kind of being more picky about what I was buying from her so I bought um her two collab lipsticks that she did with Mario. If, if you're not familiar with Mario, it's her very famous makeup artist who I absolutely adore. I bought shade 01 Nude, which I love. I really haven't gotten to use it too much yet. Um, I just have so many lip products that I kind of stay away. And the, what's crazy is that I absolutely love these colors like this nude is a literal nude and then i also got her gloss juicy which is another collab with that she did with mario and i've actually used this color on a couple of my clients i haven't used it on myself yet um but they are just two freaking gorgeous colors really really happy this lipstick too i am not a huge li like cream lipstick person but there's something about the consistency of this li lipstick that is just so gorgeous it goes right on it's super creamy it doesn't dry out if you're more into a matte lipstick this is probably not the lipstick for you but regardless i really really like it and then i also bought one of her brightening powders which i haven't even used that Yet, I wanted to buy 01, but 01 was sold out when I went to buy one of them. Um, so I just got 02. I think that it would be nice. I mean, a lot of my clients actually use this brightening powder. So I kind of can't... I can't really give my exact opinion on it. I've heard that it's good. I mean, it's definitely a brightening powder. That's I don't know why I swatched it there. What an asshole. You can see that it's a lot lighter than what my fake baked tan is right now. Um, I think that it would be a really pretty shade underneath the eyes. Um, but like I said, I haven't really gotten to try it yet. So hopefully sometime this week I will. And then for KKW, those three products that I just showed you would have normally retailed for $54. And I actually got it for $45 and they had free shipping. It literally is only a $9 difference. But you know what? Like I said, I don't normally would I, I wouldn't normally buy from these brands. So I, I kind of let myself off on these. All right, some other products that I got were from Jouer, and I absolutely love Jouer. Um, I've been buying their stuff for a while now, but I tried some of their products that I haven't gotten to try yet, uh, such as their concealers. I bought two of them. Um, I bought shades Chiffon, which is a very yellow kind of color. I wasn't really prepared for it to be so yellow. Um, and I also bought Cream Cafe. Um, I'm doing those brushes right now and this is more of like a neutral shade which is more kind of like up my alley so we have um, chiffon on this side which is like you can see that it's a little bit more yellow and then cream cafe on this side which is what I've been using on myself I actually also use this concealer on myself today I really really like them they're super full coverage and then on top of that I also bought one of their foundations because I've heard really really good things about it it's their essential high coverage cream foundation 
The issue with this is that obviously because they don't sell it in store, it was hard for me to kind of color match myself online. So I went a little dark with it. Um, it's normally like this shade would normally be okay with me on like the first day that I do like an express tan on myself. So I'm going to show you what it actually looks like. But the coverage of this is absolutely gorgeous. I love how it feels on the skin. It's not too tacky. It's it's kind of like moisturizing. You can see that it's it doesn't look so bad on camera, but it fits my kind of like fake baked color. But like I said, like this is probably day two of no, it's day three that I've been tan. So Maybe if I made it work, like, if I, like, co like corrected it with, like, a much lighter concealer, I can absolutely make that foundation still work, but it's too much work. Uh, so I really only have been using it when I'm, like, super, super dark. I also got one of their highlighters, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. What's funny about this is that um, it's, like, one of their lightest shades. It's shade Ice. And I was really worried that it was going to be like that really white kind of frosty color that I don't always love in highlighters. But it doesn't look like that at all. It's actually super, let me put this down because it's reflecting. It's actually super pretty. And when you kind of like sheer it out, it's got this kind of like a like yellow kind of finish to it, like a gold like reflect. I really, really like that about that. I don't really love on highlighters that are like that actual white shade. I think that it looks kind of like cheesy on the skin. And that's coming from someone that's literally so pale. But it doesn't really look like I could use this probably on any type of skin tone and it would be totally fine. Two other things that I bought from Jouer are their lip glosses. Now, for some reason, this one peeled, like the name of it peeled off during shipping. I have absolutely no idea what it is. I could probably look it up for you, but... It's a lot of work to have to go through my email. So I'm just going to swatch these really quick. Um, this shade, though, is called... It, it says PCH, so psh, maybe maybe it's pronounced like that. Um, my love for nudes are literally never-ending. So we have psh on the left, and then whatever this random shade right here. I'll have to put it in like the notes in the video of like what it is. Um, but something that I really like about this brand, too, is that all of their lipsticks, lip stuff smells like like vanilla or like cupcakes or something like that and I really like that. So normally uh, the products that I bought from Jouer would retail for $140 and I actually got it for $98. Um, it's about a $42 difference um, and they didn't have free shipping so I did pay for shipping as well. Um, but that was totally okay with me. I felt like I got a really good deal and I got products that I really liked which is really all that mattered to me. This I'm actually really excited about. I've never bought from this brush brand before. I believe the name is called Zoo... Zueva? Zueva? Zu yeah, Zueva. Sure. I bought a 10 piece uh, eye brush set. Um, like I said, I am just a eye brush set hoarder. So I got these brushes. Again, they're dirty. Some of them are dirty at least, and I'm really, really sorry. But I've been absolutely loving them. They are probably one of the best quality brushes that I've ever bought. And I've been eyeing these up for like years, but they're really expensive. Like this brush set normally was 85, and I got it on sale for 66, and that included their like shipping and stuff so I think the brush set was actually like 58 after the discount that they had and I got it for I don't know maybe I paid like eight dollars or whatever because it's an international brand so and I kind of knew that it was probably going to charge me for shipping but regardless I absolutely love these brushes and I would actually probably pay full price for them if they weren't on sale and that's really surprising because I'm normally more of like a I will only buy it on sale type of person but I would definitely pay the full $85 for this brush set. Definitely recommend if you've never tried this brand, if you are a makeup enthusiast or a makeup artist, these brushes are fantastic. So I also bought some single eyeshadows. I really do not need any more eyeshadows in my life. I have so many palettes. But um, during the Black Friday sale for Anastasia Beverly Hills, their single eyeshadows are 50% off. If you don't know how much they normally retail for, they're $12 up pop which is a lot for a single eyeshadow so during black friday they're half off so i only had they were only six dollars per eyeshadow so stupid me thought that i bought eight of them and i bought seven of them so i have a little empty like well right here so i'll have to eventually fill this but i try to buy shades that i don't actually have already i have a lot of the single eyeshadows from anastasia i also have every single one of their eyeshadow palettes so it was kind of hard because a lot of the single eyeshadows are also in the palettes that they retail so I was trying to buy shades that I don't have yet. I've been really loving this palette so far. Um, I've been using it as um, 
like a part of my kit. I haven't used any of them on myself, but strictly just for my clients. And I really, really like them, especially these white shades. I don't normally like matte shades in like the brow bone or the inner corner, but because of these finishes, they're just so like, they're just so pretty. I don't know. I know it's just a white shade and you're like, Brielle, it's just a white shade. It's nothing really crazy. But I have an issue with certain like black eyeshadows and white eyeshadows. I'm super picky. So normally this seven piece palette, even though it should be eight, with the Wells would be $84. And I actually only got it for $42. So like I said, it was half off. It, I got free shipping so I felt like it was a really good deal another brand that I bought from has been one of my favorite brands uh recently I've never bought from this brand until about two months before and it's Huda their lipsticks were 50% off 50% off on their store which is really confusing because we I normally buy from Sephora when I buy Huda beauty products um but I kind of took advantage of the fact that all lip stuff all lip stuff was 50% off so I want to do some swatches right now. I've been absolutely loving these. My only issue with their liquid lipstick formula is that I feel like it's a little watery. And I don't really love that. But it does dry down really pretty. And it lasts. So I guess that's really all I can really care about. But I get scared that if I flipped it over, like, everything would completely pour out. Um, another product that I've been loving from them other than their liquid lipsticks is their lip strobes. I have about four of them now. I've been collecting them because I think that they're really pretty lip toppers. So from right to left, um, I have shade Crush. So that's what this really pink like nude color right here. And then I also have shade uh, Jet Setter, which you've probably recently seen on my page me wearing because I've been loving these. And then also the last... The last shade is the lip strobe and it's called bougie which is so cute i use that word all the time so i really like that the name was actually called bougie um but i've been really loving them so normally these would retail for let's pull it up 67 and i got it for 37 and that in that did not include free shipping so 37 dollars is honestly i think a pretty good deal i saved about 30 dollars so i mean that's almost like a whole liquid lipstick and a half that i didn't pay for so i mean I can't complain. I love Jeffree Star. So, of course, they only have their one sale a year, which is their Black Friday sale. I don't even think that they do a Cyber Monday sale. So, of course, I bought some stuff while I was shopping. Um, this was actually the first purchase that I made on Black Friday. So, I bought two shades. I bought Calabasas, and I also bought Celebrity Skin. Celebrity Skin has been one of my favorite nude colors ever. It's the most... I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not like... It's not like a brown, but it's not like a pink, but it's not really like a neutral either. That's really cool. That's something that I really like about Jeffree Star's line because I feel like a lot of their shades are super original. Like you can't really find exact dupes for them in other places. So on the right right here is Celebrity Skin and then on the left is Calabasas and then I bought a Calabasas lip liner to match it. This is actually the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. I think that it's super, super pretty. And then the other lip liner that I bought is Allegedly. And it's kind of like this like burnt kind of orangey color. I don't really know when I would use it. I didn't really love the other shades that he had in his lip liners. Um, I probably could have bought one for Celebrity Skin. But I have so many nude lip liners that I kind of was like, mm, not really worth it. I also bought a palette from Pat McGrath while they were on sale. Um, not a lot of her stuff was actually on sale on the website, so I kind of just bought something. I've never bought anything from Pat McGrath before, so I kind of was like, felt like this was like the right time to try it. I bought their Mothership Sublime Bronze Edition, so it's their six-piece palette. I love this packaging, by the way. And that's what the inside of the palette looks like. I've actually done a couple looks with this palette already. These shimmers in this are so gorgeous. I've done swatch videos already on my Instagram. But just for shits and giggles, let's just look at this baby one more time. I love bronze shades. So this was really, like, so me. Like, oh, they're just so pretty. I could just smear it on my face. That was the only thing that I bought from Pat McGrath. Normally this palette would retail for $55 and I got it for $43. Not a huge price point difference. 
Um, but I think it's like $12 or $13 and it included free shipping. So I kind of felt like that was a really good deal. Okay, and lastly, okay, this is the last brand that I bought from on Black Friday and Cyber Monday and stuff was Be Bella. This is a brand that I've been talking about a lot on my page recently because I absolutely love their brushes. I've been buying brushes from them for about two years now because they always run really good deals. And even when they're not running really good deals, like their normal retail price point for these brushes is really good. I bought nine brushes. Again, I am sorry that they're dirty. They're really nice quality. I love them, especially from being what I would consider to be like not a smaller brand, but they're not as known. And what was cool is that they also included like a contour palette. I've used the palette a little bit, not like a whole lot. You can see I already kind of like hit pan on one of the shades, but um, the contour shades, I don't really know if I love. They're kind of coming up a little orangey, but also it was free, so I don't really care that they're not really being the best quality. Um, normally, what I bought from Be Bella would be about $80, and I got it on sale for $54, so I think it was like 40% off at the website. So in total, all of the products that I just showed you would normally retail for about $830, and I only paid $533, which is still so much money. Like, saying it out loud, I'm like, girl, did you really have to do that to yourself? But I don't normally buy makeup for myself, and it kind of felt nice to buy some things that weren't just for my kit, which is normally what I only do. Um, in total, I saved about $300, which... To me, um, you know, I feel like it's kind of like a steal when you think about it like that, but like overall, like probably not. I was thinking about including a lot of the other things that I've recently been buying because like Ulta had 20% off and Sephora had $25 off a $75 purchase and I bought two sets of things from Sephora. Um, but I decided to just stick to Black Friday because if I continue to talk through this haul video, you would probably be here for an hour because of all the stuff that I recently have been buying. It's just been a little bit outrageous. But besides that, I really hope that you enjoyed this haul video. I love haul videos. They're one of my favorite, favorite, favorite videos because I always am like, oh my god, maybe I should buy that. Or like, oh my god, like what a good steal she got. But if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that really good stuff. If you don't follow me on my social media, my Instagram is at Makeup by Brielle. Um, my Snapchat, if you want to Snapchat me, is IDK Brazil. Um, and I'll leave all of my social media and obviously in the uh, bio down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you in my next video.